I love it. I know, right? Don't you love how, it, how RE7 starts with an AMV? <laughs> Freaking awesome. Alright guys, here we go. We're gonna start a new game in just a second. Alright, here we go. We're gonna play on normal. Madhouse is really fun, but I wanna... We'll just do the, the, the normal experience for now. I might be going a little fast in this game, so uh, we will admire the environments, the scenery a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be speed walking through this through this house. <laughs> All right, enough banter. Let's do it. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. I must stay away. I will not stay away. I must rescue my wife. Oh wait, wife was in the chat, right? I always thought this this uh clearly uh like FMV like back backdrop that he's driving through right now looked super off. And like the first time I played this game, I was like, "What am I looking at right now? Like is this what the game is going to look like?" And then <laughs> he looks up from the steering wheel and it's like, "Oh my god. The game is so amazing now." <laughs> hey, this car looks familiar. I wonder if this is the place. I wonder if it, its previous owner uh, drove it into a giant monster off of a roof. Here we are, RE7. Oh my god, I love this game. It's so cool. Look at this shot. Just the freaking what a mansion, just off in the distance, like through the... Oh god, this game is beautiful. Oh, what's going... What? Let me in. Hello? Hello? Is anyone... Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Oh, look at the shadows. Shadows, it's pretty nice. That's right, Bayou Hazard. We're just going down to the bayou. We're gonna have some fun. Down at the bayou. Ooh, Sewer Gators, episode 17, project proposal. Oh, what's that say? Join us. Look out, I'm scared. Damn, Ethan runs so fast when he's not in the house. Who's that? Who's it? Wait, who's? It? Who? What is it? Ah! Jiminy Christmas. What do we got here? Some, uh, some leggies. Well, hello. How's it going? This is Tifa's new weapon. In, uh, or I'm sorry, not Tifa. Tira. This is Tira's new weapon. In the next Soul Calibur game. Let's see. Let's see what's over here. There's some. It looks like they were killed by a crow or something. Whoa. You guys wanted crows in RE2 and 3? Reimagined? Too bad. They're freaking dead. Let's see what- oh! <laughs> bad sign, <laughs> immediately. It's my wife's freaking photo ID. Great. Should I open the pot, guys? Should I open the pot? <laughs> Are any of you guys, uh grossed out by buggies. Alright, here we go. We're gonna open it, alright? Fuck! Blah. Fuck! Blah. Gross. Oh yeah, we gotta go grab the, uh, the tape so I can get the coin. The hidden coin that's in here. Do you guys remember the demo for this game? I did not like the demo at all, but I, uh, I was pleasantly surprised when I played the full game and it was not, it wasn't really like the demo. I was like, okay, great. This guy right here, Pete, is actually uh, the game's producer, Peter Fabiano. Okay, so we use the lockpick there, and then we open it, and then we stop the video. And there's an antique coin, very secret. So yeah, right off the bat, I know a billion people have brought this up, but this basement should not exist <laughs> in Louisiana. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the man that was on the videotape. Wow. I won. I won. Let me in. She's so tiny. Look how tiny she is in there. this hallway. It's there. <laughs> I love it. She's like, oh, fuck. I got it. I gotta sleep. You're right there, lady. 
Yeah, babe. Just have a seat. You can even take a nap if you want. Oh, look. It's a Mia doll. Hello, Mia doll. Wow, look at the rain. I love the rain on the, on the window there. Oh, it's so cool. It's such a cool visual. I want another game like this. That's in first person where we could get real close to details. Details. This bitch is crazy. I guess we could just leave her behind. Oh wait, we can't leave. I never uh, know how to activate her, so I just hang out here and go back and forth until she springs back up. Let's go. Imagine like coming all this way to like save your wife and then like this happens. This is like, don't worry wife, I'll just ax you in the face. I ain't got no clue, darling. Oh, I wonder if Ada Wong is gonna be on the other end of this call. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Yep, that sounds like Ada. Fuck is going. Waifu is gone. Yeah. She gone. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, when the demo came out, a lot of people thought that that was Ada on the phone. So, we got the bolt cutters from the basement, now we're gonna open this. I have to say, uh, first playthrough, this shit was super intense. I was like, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, you know, the demo obviously doesn't set you up for any of this stuff, and it's it's such a great surprise, in my opinion, how it's just like super over the top. Like, the demo, none of this stuff happens, so it's just like, great. Well, what's gonna, like, is she gonna jump out at me? Like, what do I gotta do? And then this happens. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! <laughs> Poor Ethan. What's up, Soy? And then I saw this, and I was like, oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I really, I really thought this game was gonna be one of those like horror stories where the main character uh, comes in later, and you follow a, a character that dies at start at the start, you know, just to show you like how crazy the threat is in this game, and then the real main character would show up after the intro. But no, you just keep playing. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have my hand in my inventory, and we could check that out. Look, it's got all the cuts on it from when she was stabbing him in the hand in the hallway. Oh my god. It's so cool. Just gotta make sure I'm ready. I should probably heal, though, because I'm not completely sure how much HP I have left, so I'll do that. That's so disgusting. Anyway, I cancelled. You're gonna be seeing that a lot, guys, me just going like that this entire playthrough, because that... When you guard in this game, it cancels animations, so... Like reloading and stuff. Yeah, this is pretty terrifying. The first time I was just like, oh god. God, she's so fucked. She's so fucked up. I hate it. Everyone is relying on Everyone. Sorry, wife. I have to say, guys, like even that little encounter, I have butterflies in my in my stomach. I'm like 
I'm still kind of, this game still freaks me out, you know? It's just so intense. Like, all the sounds and, like, the visuals and stuff. Welcome to the family, son. We got family Eye on us now. You have work to do. Thank you for stapling my hand back on. Thanks. I'm coming back for you. You better not. Yeah, this game... This game's presentation is just top of the line. Grandma. Hey, Grandma. She follows you. She looks at you all over. Hello. Yeah, I'm over here now. I'm over here now, Graham. I hope, I hope you've been okay. You look a little sick. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to go. Oh man, this part is pretty intense. This is very- the tension. The tension's rising. Take it easy, take it easy, we gotta go for a walk. Oh! Don't worry. Dinner was done. I tried. Go I tried to ghost it, but we couldn't ghost it. Open quicker. Hi. Oh no! My fucking leg! It's my fucking leg! That's okay, I'll just... I'll just put it back on. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, door! Come on! Why are you doing this to me? Yo, door. Come on. <laughs> oh, he still got a cheap shot in. Oh, who could this be? Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Hell okay. of a girl. Hell of a girl, yeah. That's exactly what I would say, too, in this situation. Not like, oh my god, how did I just reattach my leg? Like, what, what, what happened? Guys, look! It's Rebecca. You don't know him, but you get the feeling he's an asshole. <laughs> but it's Lucas. What's that crazy husband and wife from before? Wow. Oh, who's it? Who is this? Hey! Hello. Open. Hey, you gotta help me. <laughs> Hold on, back up. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> A fucking pocket knife? Take it. That's all you gonna get. What am I gonna do with a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. You have to give me your gun. <laughs> Good one, Ethan. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. So we're not gonna look at that. We're just gonna run away. Goodbye. <laughs> and we're gonna get in the car and drive away. Everything's gonna be fine. It's my turn, bitch. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Here we go, guys. You ready? GTA, motherfucker! Yeah! 10 points! I think I just did every single Resident Evil car meme in one. In one- in one sitting. Oh, he's okay. He's alright. Look at him. But that's okay, we'll just shoot him. Until the car blows up. I guess we're not driving out of here. By the way, there is a fully functioning cop car right out there. You know that, right? There is a cop car out there, and right here on the other side of this wall, there's a button that we can press to open that there garage. 
I just want you guys to know that before we get jumped by pops again. Boy, you're about to see someone. Oh, fuck! And here we have our very first key item to open the way into the rest of the house. Are you guys excited? I didn't even pick it up. Yeah, guys, that's actually it for Jack. Like, he's he's dead. He's dead now. You can see him down there. He's missing half of his head. I was so excited when I first stepped into this, like, main hall. I was like, oh shit. Very, very Spencer Mansion. And then we've got a painting right here that says, Arclay Mountains, July 7th, 1991. Yeah, it's kind of amazing how similar this game is to RE1. Like, we're in, like, a giant interconnected house that has similar architecture, not exactly the same. Uh, we've got themed keys. So this is the scorpion key that we need to get later. And there are three key items that we need to get to slot into this door to get outside that lead us to the guest house, which is very similar structure to the Spencer Mansion going to the guard house, which I always found pretty interesting. It's just really cool. like. This little hub environment just has so much to do, like right out of the gate, like we pick up a key item, we've got a themed key door, there's a puzzle over here, there's another puzzle that's optional, but if you do it you get a shotgun, like it's so cool. And you have like, places to go, like, you have, you have, <laughs> you have a few places that you can go and tackle them. In, uh, in different orders and stuff. It's really cool. Hi, Grandma. I hope you're. I hope. Hi, Grandma. I hope you're, you're doing okay. I hope you're. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I love it. I love this game so much. It's so cool. They just took the Resident, like the classic Resident Evil formula, put it in a new camera angle, and like gave it a like its own story. You know. It's so cool, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I just get really excited about it. But yeah, like, you can sort of, like, tackle it, like, the things in the order you want. Like, you could go back and grab the other head first, like, the other dog head. Or you could come up here and grab this one. I like coming up here and getting this one first because we get to uh, grab up some other items and then we could jump down to the first floor and get other stuff. And then you see it there and you're like, oh wow, there's a shotgun there. I wonder if that's the broken shotgun. It's so cool. There's so many little... So many little callbacks. Now we're back at the start. And you do this. And there's like a brand new thing. Now we already have two of the key items that we need. Heck of a thing, man. This sure shit beats the hell out of dying. Jack's back. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. And then this game has a really cool item called Psycho Stimulants, and when you use them, they actually reveal all of the items for a short amount of time, uh, which is a really genius idea for this type of game, where you're in first person and items only highlight when you're next to them. What the? Uh oh. It's a regenerator. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god, this game is so good looking. I love it. How many times am I gonna say I love it? I never, I never like speed run these games when I'm streaming them. Like I just play them a little bit faster than normal. Can I call them like a style run? Is that? <laughs> Where we style on the game is that is that okay one of my main goals with resident evil games is to make them you know like i play them the first time and i'm like wow like this this game is really scary and stuff but eventually i i like to turn them into like action games you know where it's like i get so good at them where it's like there's no fear anymore you know and the thing that the thing that freaked me out before, like, I'm making it my bitch, basically. I'm overcoming, uh, 
this crazy obstacle that I dealt with for hours uh, and I'm destroying it. And I love that. I love that feeling so much. Go open this. Let's see what's inside. Shotgun shells. Cool, dude. And we can actually open this door now, too. Head back inside the main house. Or the main, sorry, main hall. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow, that, that actually got me. That got me. Wow, that was really scary. I'm sorry. That actually freaked me the fuck out. Wow, that, that really caught me off guard. So yeah, if you don't know, uh, Jack also has a, like, downed state. So you could down him. There's some fuel there that I'll need later. You could down him, but he won't be uh, gone forever. Much like Nemesis and Mr. X. In, uh, in Madhouse difficulty, Jack attacks you before you um, go in the bathroom upstairs, which is really cool. So yeah, this game actually has the has the puzzle, the classic puzzle from RE1, where you put a broken shotgun. So that that room actually locks you inside if you take the shotgun. So it's not a deadly a deadly puzzle like the original, but it's uh it's still similar. It's a callback. But yeah, I hope you guys are having fun with the stream so far. I am definitely making my day better. Oh, hey. What's up? Yeah, there's a ton of enemies in this room, and I, I usually save the shotgun for this part, and then I use the rest of it right after. Uh, open this one, and this one. Now I can open this one. Totally just reuse this gag for RE2R. Same outcome as well. Yeah, I absolutely love the save room theme in this game. I don't know if it's uh, if it's been made clear to you guys, but I really like this game. We're playing the the southern games, so we gotta say y'all a lot more. Yep, I'm right there. We use the key to open the door, and it opens super slow. Oh, what's this? Oh god! What are you on about? Ooh, what's this? It's the third key item. Oh my god. Some G-virus infection <laughs> going on. Oh, am I gonna have enough space for it? I'm not gonna have enough space for it. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay, let's see if we can go grab it now. Even the playing field a bit. Nothing like a good old-fashioned chainsaw battle. <laughs> yeah, I need- I need focus for this quick. <laughs> I need to focus. This is like one of the coolest boss fights ever. I'm sorry. Eat this. Rip and tear until it is done. One more of these should do the trick. Pops. Do me a favor and stay dead. Next time, take the fucking head. How many heals do I have now? I freaking use them all. I use them all to get the chainsaw because I planned poorly. Okay, anyway. And that's it for our saw. Everything's dead. Everything lays dead at my feet. This is my house now. Was this boss fight extremely difficult when I first played it? Yes, it was. And I remember being like, guys, my shoulders were like, so, like, I was so tense playing that boss fight. It was super difficult the first time. Like, I did not, did not know what to do. What's that? Grandma's singing. You have such a beautiful singing voice, Graham. Now we're out of the house. 
And yeah, we just quickly picked up a lockpick, and there's a secret compartment under the house. And there's a repair kit, and we're gonna be using that in just a second. Here's our pistol from uh, the beginning of the game. It broke though, so we're gonna fix it with this repair kit. I believe uh, the 19, the M19 is like a little bit stronger than the Glock, so we'll be using that for a while. Here we are in Zoe's little apartment, and there's a few upgrade cages. Like there's a Magnum in that one, and then there's like some stat upgrades, stabilizer and steroids. Got a uh, Ethan got that from his buddy Chris. And we're gonna we're gonna shoot up. My God, look how fast Ethan runs when he's outside. It's amazing. And now he runs a little bit slower. Uh, the lockpick opens another box back inside the main house. So let's go grab that before we move on. And we got some more shotgun ammo. Okay, let's continue on to the... Is it the green house? What is it? The guest house? What? The old house? Which house is it? And as soon as we open this door, uh, we're greeted with some gigantic wasps that we have to murder immediately. Ooh, looks like some sort of plans for a flamethrower. Wow. She's upstairs. Don't go up. Yeah, and we're just gonna eat up all these, these wasp things and shoot at this nest. Because we definitely don't want those sticking around. And here we go. A freaking backpack. Now Ethan's wearing a backpack. That's gonna get real funny later. When we start picking up more backpacks. There's the burner grip. And here is a chem fluid. And we can finally make some more heals. Finally. Oh, you little bastards. These bugs are like DBZ right now. Freaking phasing in and out of existence. How am I not scared? I have no fear. I do want to destroy this thing over here before we have to do other stuff, so let's do that. Yep, and now we have a new weapon, the flamethrower. Now we're going to use the stripping agent to break down the psycho stim, and we're going to make some more flamethrower ammo. Yeah, I hear bees. No, not the bees. My wife. Hi, waifu. Why don't you stand there? Do something! Ethan, help! Damn it. Damn it. And here we have a stone statue, which is a key item for the room that we've been backtracking through. Hey, baker, how's it going? You bacon? We bacon tonight? Yeah, I don't need- Oh, there's a nest right here. Hi, nest. You on fire. I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, so the cutscene that's about to play right now on PC, it doesn't work too well. And you guys are going to see why. You're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. Stay the fuck out! <laughs> yeah, so in the PC version, Marguerite's mouth doesn't move for whatever reason. Uh, but on... On the console versions, she she has like a whole, like, you see her face move and everything. So I'm not completely sure why that is the case on PC, but and Marge is in there. You in there, Marge? I see you moving. Okay, guys, we're gonna make a run for it. I told you, get out. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Stop. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to, I'm not... <laughs> Alright, time to put some stuff away, because, Jesus, I have so many items. Okay, if you have a fear of bugs, maybe close your eyes for a second. Fuck, 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 fuck! Buggies. Very icky. So here is a, another door, another themed key door, the crow key. We're gonna be grabbing that at some point. Yeah, so there are collectible bobbleheads in this game. There are a lot of them, and I'm not shooting at them, because um, I don't want to shoot at them in this playthrough. Okay, now 
I have the crank, and I have to bring it over here. That's all right. Try to remember as I go. Hi, Marge. <laughs> Bye, Marge. Oh my God. Stay still, you little fuckers. I told you to stay out of here. <laughs> I know this game is really bugging me out. So yeah, you just shotgun Marguerite until she falls back. This is gonna summon a bunch of bugs, but um, I'm gonna try not to focus on them as much, but yeah, whenever she gets into position like that, you wanna use the shotgun. Sorry lady, I can't stick around. Target acquired. What the hell is that? I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. <laughs> Wish you could have warned me. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm sure everything's fine now. That's a long arm you got there, mom. <laughs> I hope. I hope you're doing okay. I didn't mean to shoot you in the face. Oh, okay. What the fuck. Well, that's special. That's. Spe I don't like that line at all. That's a bad line. That's bad writing. Here, let me call uh, Capcom real quick. Yeah, Capcom. Yeah, don't don't put stupid lines like that in your game, please. I almost I almost cringed my entire face off. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, you're gonna make me Ashley in RE4 remake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. Bye. And we're gonna grab this photo, and then we're gonna go upstairs. Grab some uh, some green some greens right here. You gotta eat your greens, people. Stay hydrated, eat your greens, save your money. The real question is why wouldn't you grab a grenade launcher? I know. You, you, know, you know, sometimes I forget, but yeah. You know what else I'm gonna grab? Some more freaking juice, baby. Let's get fucking pumped. Hell yeah. Redfield ain't got nothing on me. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab the, the old grenade launcher. Let's check out that animation, that sweet animation. Okay, cool. That's special. <laughs> I hate that line, it's so bad. What were they thinking? I don't think there's another crow key door, though. Oh, crow key, I get it, crow key, crow key. Because you guys are saying crow key in the chat. Crow key, crow key, yeah. I'm very crow key, I got it, I got it now. I. F I <sighs> Croaky. I can't freaking believe this shit. You're making me look like a fool. Look, look what we're gonna do now, guys. We're gonna freaking juice up a gun. That's right. Freaking powerful. I just love juicing up, dude. You know what I mean? I hit the gym. I've, I've deadlift. Whatever that means. Slam the weights on the ground. Slam the weight. How fast would Jill get through this? Probably very fast. Because she's a member of Star. Now we're on to the next major event in this game. She always grabs you from the front. Okay, so you have to go backwards up the stairs. This boss fight actually still creeps me out, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, oh, I hear something. Oh, hi. Yeah, this, this fight is really messed up. Oh man, that the sounds are not good. The sounds are no good. Oh shit! Wow, hi, hi there. This boss fight definitely has uh, the most randomness for sure. Like every time you play it, it's a little bit different. Like either it goes completely in your favor, or she actually puts up a pretty good fight. Oh, oh wow! I can't believe that just happened. I so can't believe that just happened. Like I said, this boss has the most randomness in it. The most RNG, if you will. Oh, look, look guys, look at that. Sorry, lady. God, this boss is so interesting. It's such a cool boss. I am the master of fire. You will burn. Here I come. Hi. <laughs> Creepy lady. Long-limbed idiot. Oh, don't worry, I'll just hang out here and blast you with a flamethrower. Yeah, just keep doing that for me, okay? Yeah, 
This is what I want. This is exactly what I want. I'm not gonna miss you at all. Huh? Where are you? Get out here. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. That was kind of creepy. How is this fucker not dead yet? Oh, jeez. Oh, are you are you finally gonna take a nap now? Mother. A gate is blocking the way. <laughs> not anymore. Elongator. Huh. Well, that's special. Cue the audience laughter. <laughs> Oh god! Look out! <laughs> I just love how I'm like speeding through the game, but I knew doing this part slow would creep some of you guys out. <laughs> Alright, so we got one of the ingredients uh, for the cure for this, uh, this mold, and it's an arm, and there is a little face in that arm. That's great, right? Now, look in the fridge! Alright, I guess I'll look in the fridge. Like, me... It's just my leftover rice and beans. It's the deputy. He's got a molded nightmare growing out of his head. The pig is waiting for you in the dissection room, bitch. Alright, I guess we're gonna go get that then. Every time. Every time. I always forget she's gonna be there. I always forget she's gonna be there. Every single time. And it always, it always gets me. Graham, you can't just sneak up on me like that. Why you do that for, huh? What are you gonna do that for? Sheesh. Oh. The liquor. And it's dead. <laughs> Let's get on with it. By the way, those enemies are super annoying. <laughs> They are so annoying in this game, but that's why you have to just attack them as soon as you see them. Hey, now there's enemies in the main hall. There's like some RE2 stuff. I really liked that in RE2R when like just suddenly there are zombies in the main hall. You're like, oh wow, nowhere is safe. Hey grandma. Wow, you sure are fast. How do you do it? There's something in here. Oh, here it is. Here's another backpack. So Ethan is wearing two backpacks right now. The same time as all other clocks. So there's a clock here, and literally every other clock in the house has the same time on it. So and there's one right here. That is 10.15. Okay. On, gotta get ready. Gotta get ready for it. Oh, there's another enemy there. Okay, well, let me take him out first. Oh, hi. I totally wasn't looking at you. Oh, that was real bad. That was real bad. Uh, and then this is the secret button that opens the... Gives us access to the attic. Okay, now we've got both key cards to the next area in the game, which is the testing... Testing facility? Testing ground? Is that what it's called? Training facility? <laughs> is Rebecca in there? Everyone seems to hate Ethan. Like, I don't have a problem with him. He is most definitely a insert character for the player. He has a little bit of personality in this game, but yeah, I would... Like, honestly, I would like to just play as a new, a new character. Like, a new girl character in this kind of game. Like that would be that would be cool, but yeah, I never I never really hated Ethan. I get why people, I get why people don't like him, but yeah, I don't I don't know. It just never it never appealed to me to be like, I hope it's not Ethan that nothing character. It's just like yeah I know he's a nothing character, but like who cares at the same time? It's just like whatever. And we get some more fucking juice, baby. Yeah, so, yeah, fuck, jam it into my veins. God damn it. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm ready to take on it. all everyone. Let's take everyone on. So here we are. Oh, what's this? What are we entering DMC Devil May Cry right now? Let's play. Look at this. Spooky. 
<laughs> such a goofy looking guy. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! So here we are, we're in the testing area. Brand new part of this game that is rigged with explosives. Here we are, here's another secret repair kit that we're gonna use on this shotgun here. And this is a much more powerful shotgun than the one that we have. Okay, I just wanna say, guys, when I go to, when I go to Starbucks and I get coffee, I always get a caramel macchiato. And when I watched freaking Resident Evil Vendetta, Rebecca's favorite coffee is caramel macchiato. I was like, holy shit. How did they know? How did they know it was my favorite? I definitely do want to- oh no. That might be death. Oh no. That was death. Can you believe this? How am I gonna do that freaking MLG shot again? I was trying to show off with that. I was showing off with that shot when I ran and I ducked under the the bomb, and then I quick turned and shot it, and it blew the guy up in midair. Oh my god. That didn't work this time. It didn't fucking work. I'm gonna die again. It doesn't work anymore. Why doesn't it work? There's a battery. Wow. So the password is. By the way, sorry about that, babe. Looking a little burnt up, a little crispy. 1408, you're next. And here is the final coin for Ethan. Have a nice day. Spooky. All right, what do you say we play a little game? All you gotta do is light the candle and put it on the cake. Kiss my ass. So yeah, we're just gonna remove that uh, piece of wood from the wall, and we're gonna turn on the stove here. Uh, and then we're gonna use the candle to burn the, the rope to the store. There's a lot of balloons in here, and they pop. And the password is not happy. It is la loser. If you got that reference, then you have a particular sense of humor. La loser. Pop every balloon, okay. Okay, I'm wasting time. <laughs> okay. That's a cartoon bomb, if I've ever seen one. And I don't do spoilers. Yeah, me either. Ruined FF7 for me. <laughs> I feel you, Lucas. What good is the testing area map now? I think it just gives you the this these like last few hallways, which still isn't good. <laughs> Have I ever played Outbreak? And if so, how about the fan servers that exist right now? Yeah, I talk about the fan servers quite a bit um, in my streams. I have a friend group that I usually play with, but I right now, for whatever reason, my emulator got messed up, and uh, I need to sort it out so I could play it again with my buddies. But yeah, I love it. I love playing Outbreak in the modern, <laughs> the modern age. It's so much fun. I've I've gone on record and said it's probably one of the most fun Resident Evil experiences I've ever had. Just having voice chat, having a full party of people, playing a classic Resident to play a classic Resident Evil game with, like that is so cool. Fixed camera angles, tank controls, solving puzzles, fighting bosses with four people, like that is so awesome. I just love how they, they've they been doing like the exact same design philosophy for Resident Evil like for years. Like you need these two items, these two key items, 
Uh, so you don't, so you have enough space to fight the next boss. And I love that because that's how like all of the games are. Like in RE1, like they give you, like you have to use the flares. So it gives you another space so you can pick up the rocket launcher. And then the same thing happens with RE2 where it's like you have to use the plug so you can get the rocket launcher and blow up. It's awesome. I love that. By the way, guys, I just want you to know, so Zoe just mixed up these two uh, serums and she was using a machine, right? Like, what is that? Is that like a coffee maker? Like, what is that thing? What is that? Hey, one of those is mine. <laughs> Yeah, and now we now we literally have to fight a legit Resident Evil monster. <laughs> By the way, like he totally reminds me of Final Nemi in the original RE3. Oh wow, nice spin, nice spin, buddy. I will not. To find where the other one. There we go, there's another one. Oh, knock me down. Knock me down, why don't you? Got it for you, buddy. Finally gonna go down. No, I wanted the shotgun ammo, you sucker. <laughs> That's special. That, that, that's fun. <laughs> oh, I've only got one more serum left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. You ready? Pick Zoe. Yep, this is a Resident Evil game. There's a boat You're section, okay. <laughs> of course. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? <sighs> now we're playing. Now we're playing as the waifu. Now we're waifuing it up. I love this part of the game. I know a lot of people don't for some reason, but I think it's really cool. It's another explorable hub. It's so awesome. Did you just, did you really just say it gets shooty, Plague? Have you been watching this stream? The whole game is shooty. Every Resident Evil game is shooty. And I want them to be shooty. I want to destroy the evil in the residents. I want to destroy the fears. Oh. Whoa, dude. So disturbing. So you see this like giant mass of mold? Look carefully, guys. That is so cool. Whoa. This is so cool, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised that this game never got any mods. I think there's like one mod for it. I know that the, the RE engine is very difficult to mod for. It's very complex. And I think just the game being a first person game, you don't see your character. Like I think people just weren't really into modding it, you know? Okay, let's check out the old videotape. Some supplements. Don't worry guys, we'll get through this part fast so you could wake up. I hope you guys are still having fun. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, I don't have a healing item, of course. God, Mia, what the hell? Oh, that's it. Thanks for making me waste all my ammo. <laughs> Mia does get these remote bombs, which are kind of cool. They are very powerful, especially against living things. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me. <laughs> right now. Okay? Evie, wait! <laughs> Gotta go fast. 
I heard a monster behind me, but I'm not gonna turn around. Look at the monster! Damn it! Evie's upstairs! Almost there. Hey, there's Alvin! What's up, dude? She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts me. Okay. <laughs> Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to take I control. To... You have to fight her. Ah! 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 <laughs> She's infected. There's an amazing shot coming up that I love so much. It's not this guy. <laughs> Look at this shot. It's so cool. Look at her hair. We will never be a family. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> and she went off to make a two hour Rise of Skywalker video. Okay, so I believe it's like this. Yep. I don't need to look at any other paintings in this room because I am so cool. I know how to do the puzzle. Sorry, I can't come in. Oh, now Mia's got the backpack. I think three of these do them in. No, I really like this part of the game. I love how quiet it is and it's a really cool change of pace from being in a house all day. Now you're in this like big industrial environment. This like long forgotten industrial environment. I think it's cool. Now the elevator works and we could actually use it. We could take it to every single floor. I just love how like this game even has like a second character, like the classic Resident Evil games where you just shift to another character. And I like the other character more. <laughs> All right, now we're heading back. We're going, we're heading back down. Gotta find Husbando. I need you to do something. What do you need? Ethan. Husbando. Mia, how? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Um, here, take this. What? <sighs> wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. <laughs> no. No. Mia! No! It's my turn, bitch. Okay, you little bitch. <laughs> what the fuck are you? I love it. What the fuck, what the fuck are you, you little, little fucker? There's a helicopter. Who could that be? Is that the RE1 helicopter? Oh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> It's a helicopter with a familiar looking logo. What's that? Are they watching us from that helicopter? You've taken Mia's things. Well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> How many coins I have? Oh, I have six. Oh, I should be fine. Yep, and you need... Wait a minute, you need eight? Oh no! Did I not get them all? Oh no! Oh no! I thought I got them all. More magnum ammo. <laughs> I can't even use it though. Okay, uh... God, there's so much stuff and so many enemies. God, I have so much ammo. Let's freaking do this, dude. Sorry, Moldy. <laughs> that was a bomb, <laughs> and I tried to see if there was an item. Ooh, look at this little makeshift lab. Ooh. I remember getting to this part, and I was just like, oh wow, cool. It's like a lab at the end of the game. <laughs> this is fun. If I could give a bunch of one-liners to any character, who would it be? I don't know, that's a really difficult question. Like, I mean... I think Valentine is probably the best one, you know? 
24 enhanced rounds. Got it, guys. I have so much ammo. Resident Evil games give you so much ammo. It's insane. I did a... I did a... Just like a casual speedrun of RE2 98 yesterday. And by the end of that game, in Claire A, I had like 30 flame rounds. I had 24 acid rounds. And like maybe 20 explosive rounds. I was set. I was like, why do I have all this stuff? I have more ammo than I'll ever need. Here we go. The final, the final run. Oh no, that's who I wanted to shoot. And I did it. Uh, down, 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 down. Oh, I didn't get that guy. That got me. Okay, guys, here we go. Final, <laughs> the final battle. Oh my god, I just realized what I'm doing. I'm using freeze rounds. I'm so happy right now. And then they give you the mind map right here. Like, why would they do that? Why would they do that to me? Look at this, guys. Look where we are. Back at the start of the game. Love it. And there's Graham's wheelchair. Grandma, E, Evelyn. Oh my god, I figured it out. I just now figured it out. I love this part so much. I love everything about it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's like, it's a beautiful scene. And it's like, it's like your tricks aren't gonna work on me, Evie. Your tricks, are you, it's just bullshit. It's all bullshit. You can't use your freaking, you can't use your hallucinogenic mind games on me anymore. And who do we fight in the end, guys? What do we fight in the end of this game? It is G5. <laughs> Resident Evil loves doing this. What did she just say? Oh god, <laughs> so high up. Oh, what's that? The best handgun ever made. The fucking samurai edge. This is my reaction the first time I played it. This part was pretty hype, guys. I gotta say. Man, I can't believe we finished the whole game tonight. I wasn't planning on it, but... I just had a lot of fun. Uh oh. Who's this? Who's this guy? Oh look, it's Hunk. It's like the same shot from Remake. When the house blows up. When the mansion blows up. It's like the exact same shot. And then it's like, oh, it's actually the first person. Why won't? Go, so 